Hey BPM, it's Kaylin Meredith. We are at I Love Neon at the Metropolis in Montreal. It's their ninth anniversary party, so we're checking out DJs like New Ravers on the Block, Mastercraft, and none other than Jordan Dare. Let's head in and check it out. about these parties. They are slamming. Can you guys tell me how you got the name I Love Neon? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, it was basically, uh, Neon was uh, about breaking rules and changing things, and uh, the name Neon uh, kind of represented things were, that were like kind of uncool, but for me it was like, uh, at the time, it was like, how do you can take the seriousness out of things? Yo, like, like just let's just have fun. And to name the party after something that was kind of irrelevant, and like the neon car or the neon stores, and just lights and the colors. Let's bring some life into nightlife because everything was really the music. Everything was so serious. Yeah, it was real tacky and dark yeah, like, at a certain point. Right, like let's let's have fun, man. Like. All the DJs, it was all about the big DJ, the superstar, the this. No, 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 I just want to have fun, man. I work in the day, like, come on, like, I'm normal. I'm like everyone, like, I don't need to be a rock star. Really? I don't know. They don't really pull any punches when it comes to setting shit up, like, crazy lights, best visuals, like, they make everybody welcome, and the sound's always on point. I love Neon, like, there's, for us, there's nothing better. I mean... You know, we always, we always work with Isle of New York. We were all working already in the music industry and in the design industry. Uh, having had, uh, you know, Mark owned a record label, I managed and owned a record store. Justin's been an interior and graphic designer for the last 15 years. We were all working in the industry and had our own kind of ideas and emotions and thoughts about how the industry should be. And it's not really what was happening in Montreal at the time, so we just very simply started doing a night. And, you know, for the first little while, it wasn't doing particularly well. and then. Fortunately to us, our kind of genre of music kind of exploded internationally and thus the night kind of picked up as well. And we've been working really hard at trying to keep it creative and interesting over the last 10 years, nine years actually. Um, and here we are, you know. We're at the I Love Neon ninth anniversary. Do you go to a lot of their parties? I'm sorry? Do you go to a lot of the I Love Neon parties? Yeah, I always, li I always like the I Love Neon for the parties they throw because they always like get the right place and the right I write guest DJs. I absolutely love Jordan there. Mastercraft is the third time I see Mastercraft live. So basically, I, they always rock the place. Like, just look at this. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. And what do you love about the I Love Neon parties? It's the exact same thing. The mix of cultures, the fact that everyone's welcome, and the music is always amazing. You know, wear whatever you want, do whatever you want. It's all good. Of all the DJs they brought over the years, over the nine years, who have been your favorites? Do you have a favorite? Carl Cox. It's so not like, yeah. He's awesome. He's an awesome person as well. He's, yeah. But this is like, this is awesome as well. Yeah. Totally. I, I wouldn't know. It's my first meal. Tonight is your first meal party? It, and what do you think? Well, I've been here five minutes, but it's great. And I mean, I love Mastograph and voice noise, so I had to be here. How many High Love Neon parties have you been to? Well, I'm working for Neon. I'm a promoter for them. So I've been working for Neon about three years now. And I really love to do a promo. So uh, I think it's going to be bigger and bigger. It's nine years now. And um, hope everybody will enjoy it year after year. Okay, aside from the wicked lineup tonight of DJs, who's been your favorite DJ that Neon has brought? <laughs> who's been your favorite DJ that Neon has brought? Well, Jordan Dare's always played at Neon's party, and everybody will always enjoy Jordan Dare because he's really modern and know what's the new songs and how to play and how to mix. So, yeah, Jordan will always stay. There's a saying that if you play for the ladies, yeah. if you get the ladies on the dance floor, inevitably the men will follow. So do you play to the ladies? I play to everybody. <laughs> like, everybody. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to pick and choose a crowd. So just 
come one, come all. It was a, it was a reaction to, to raves, actually. It was like the music was so, like, always, like, the same thing. Everything was repetitive. Even the music was repetitive. So it's kind of just uh, the music that we were listening to was different than what was being played. So it was like, what would, how would we, re how do you react to that? I love Neon, it's a very uh, good party here in Montreal, one of the biggest electro party. They start the electro scene in Montreal and we have always followed them and uh, we're, uh, it's an honor for us to uh, open for uh, the ninth anniversary at I Love Neon. Uh, what I like about Neon Party is basically they started nine years ago. We we're not DJing at this time but we were in the scene and we've always been in the parties and uh, they always throw, I think they throw like 400 parties over the years so they bring artists from all around the world and they throw like one of the best parties in Montreal and that's what I like about them because they've always been in the scene and bring new artists. And I understand that you have a real tight-knit community, like you try and do as much in-house in terms of your promotions, in terms of your... Everything is done in-house, everything. We're, we're actually uh, all designers by trade during the day, so our opportunity with Neon is to implement design and layout into the space as well so that we can actually sort of apply what we've been doing uh, physically to everything that we do. So with the visuals, with the graphics, with the colors, everything kind of fits into a sort of preordained kind of concept that we've been working on over every event we kind of think of one. So we apply everything to the space as well as to everything else. In the day when we're designing, we're working with rules. Neon, we break every rule we possibly can. If I was Prime Minister, you vote for me. No more driving cabs. No more doctors driving cabs. No more engineers driving cabs. No more engineers working in a fast food restaurant. Y'all can do what you're trained to do better than the schools here. We're from Toronto and there's there's this like rivalry between Toronto and Montreal. And I'll always side with Toronto just because that's where I'm from. But Montreal is uh, Montreal is really awesome for parties. It's, it's a real party town for sure. one of the sexy fashionistas. Can you tell me about your style, what you're wearing? Uh, I'm wearing a shirt from my friend's store. Uh, it's called Old Gold, it's on Mont Royal. And they have a lot of neat, funky stuff, one of a kind, you know, really interesting. And I'm just rocking a you know, regular pair of cheap Monday pants. My shoes I found in my basement. I think they might have been my mom's at one point. But the piece de resistance happens to be my necklace. And then my friend made it, it's out of old vinyl record. or unusable vinyl, so he makes jewelry out of it, so it's like you're wearing your music. And he made me this pair of brass knuckles, so it means a lot to me. Tell me about your shirt. How does it work? Uh, this is electronic. I have a box here with battery and kept the signal, and that's work. That's it. DJ 